The goal of this video is to graph the function y is equal to cosine of the quantity 3x minus pi over 2. Uh, the first thing to do is to first rewrite this. Okay? And we'll rewrite this as y is equal to cosine of factor out the 3. And what has to be left here is going to be x minus pi over 6. So where did the pi over 6 come from? Well, check that if you take this 3 and the pi over 6 and you multiply, you'll get a pi over 2. Now, by rewriting like this, here's, here becomes the plan. So uh, first, we're going to graph. First, we'll graph y is equal to cosine of x. And then second, we're going to graph y is equal to cosine of 3x. And finally, last, or third, we'll graph y is equal to cosine of 3 times x minus pi over 6. Now, why does this make any sense at all uh, to do it in this particular order? It may seem sort of peculiar to do this, but here the point is you can change the x that's there. All I'm going to do is rewrite this line, but if I just change the x which appears right here for x minus pi over 6. Now for this to make any sense, this is going to have to be in a set of parentheses. Um, then we're actually looking at the same function here. And maybe for a little bit of helpfulness, it might help to put in an extra set of parentheses there. All right, so first the graph of cosine of x. OK, so here's uh, y is equal to cosine of x, uh, y-intercept of 1 right there. And then uh, the graph does something like this. Right? And the time that it comes back up right here, well, that spot is, well, on the x-axis, this is going to be 2 pi. That's one full cycle. And the graph comes back like this. Sorry if the picture is not the best. I'm doing this on a, using a drawing program. And here's negative 2 pi. Um, underneath, I'd like to graph y is equal to cosine of 3x. Now, the 3 is going to end up taking the graph and pushing the graph inwards by a factor of 3. Okay, I'd like to try to keep the same scaling as much as possible, but if there's this 3 here so that this point right here, maybe I'll label this in red, Okay, if this point which appears right here is going to now move uh, so that you have this point occur in, in the graph um, but as, uh, three times as fast, let's say, or this point moves not half the distance but really a, a third Okay, so then the point should end up somewhere over here. That red point right there, maybe in this picture, I've already drawn sort of, tried to cut this, tried to cut that into three equal sized pieces, and roughly speaking, it's something like that. Okay, so maybe my point should be right there. But if I just kind of take this and go directly down, the point should end up probably somewhere right over there. And so if I were to graph y is equal to cosine of 3x, I have to start still at 1 uh, as a y-intercept and then go do the, draw this thing. So I have to draw, uh, let me do this in blue. Okay, So I have to draw this right there, this one cycle of cosine of x, all in just this tiny little time. So this is going to zip up, down, and up very quickly. Right? The graph will do something really like that. Okay, And if we label this point right there, if this is just a third the distance, well, it's going to be 2 pi divided by 3. Okay, And then you're going to do this uh, yet again. right? So um, over here, so I'm just following this down. And this is not a very exact science right here, but um, same thing. So then zipping up, down, up like that. And then this is going to be, well, the next uh, third of this 2 pi. So this will be 4 pi over 3. And then finally, uh, landing right where this had before, you know, using this thing as sort of a guide. This is 6 pi over 3, or just 2 pi. Now, I think this thing is maybe terribly not to scale, but I hope the idea gets across. Uh, finally, the last thing that we have to take care of, though, is going to be this pi over 6. Now, the minus sign there means that the graph is going to shift to the right. Okay, So we're going to shift this picture, right? shift this to the right. Um, by a distance of pi over 6. Now, the thing that would be useful to do here would be to figure out what does pi over 6 even look like over here, 
right? I'd like to draw an arrow of the appropriate length. Well, th if this is 2 pi over 3, this top peak and that top peak, then halfway in between this bottom peak right there, okay, that's got to correspond to this is pi over 3. Okay, that's half of the 2 pi over 3. And then halfway in between, this is pi over 6. So actually, this little distance from the top, right, from y equals 1, down to right on the y axis, uh, right on the x-axis where y is equal to 0, this distance is pi over 6. So the graph has to move over this tiny little distance. Okay. Same thing over here. Maybe it's nice to label sort of, I'm going to copy this arrow that I've drawn. Just I mean, ni nice short arrow somewhere else and then somewhere else right here. Okay, so everywhere the graph is going to move by just this little distance. Uh, let's do this in a new color. Okay, we've already used this sort of orange color right there. So I'm going to graph, um, just on top of this thing, I'm going to graph y is equal to cosine of 3 times the quantity x minus pi over 6. Okay, and so everything moves over this distance. Okay, so this point here ends up right over there. And this is a maybe slightly rough picture, but you should have something that looks something like this, right? I'm trying to make the graph look just like the red picture just moved a little bit over to the right. Okay, and of course this continues the other direction and so on.